Minecraft Pro Tips Episode 1, How to Build an Automated Tree Farm. Welcome to our new series. Over the years of our many Minecraft adventures, we have learned many new tips and tricks, and we've noticed there weren't a lot of tutorial videos for the things that we like to build. Yeah, some of the stuff we do, like, I've never seen a video for, so it's like, you know what, we gotta, we gotta make a video. So, uh, step one, part one. Step one of part one. What is it? We're doing We're building automated... an automated tree farm. So, right. you probably know wood is a valuable resource, and who wants to spend all that time chopping down trees manually when you can build, using redstone, an automated tree farm to do all the work for you? It does all, it does everything. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go through kind of the first steps here. Of course, after you after you get the tree farm built, you can you can add in some mine carts to collect all the wood for you. But uh, first step is actually getting the trees to grow and demolish themselves on their own. And then they will get uh, placed into a a dispenser. You'll see. It's it's very cool. All right. Um, yeah. Here we go. So here here's how to build it. First of all, you're gonna need some dirt, and you're gonna need a place to. I'm gonna flatten this. Okay. We need, we're gonna we're gonna clear we out the space at, at here. least. The size isn't that important, but I generally like to have like eight an eight by eight uh, block of area prepared. Yeah, you can you can definitely. It's really easy to scale this too. So you can build it. We're gonna build a pretty small scale version of it here, and then we're going to, um, and then you can you can build a bigger one if if you'd like to. All right. First of all, here Th this part here doesn't really matter what you use it for this is just like a holding area so i'm gonna just use what should we use like cobblestone um i don't know like this is just like the base um cobblestone we'll do cobblestone why not all right so here, here's the base of the tree farm. Now inside of this is where the tree, the reason we said the size doesn't really, I mean the size matters but it doesn't really matter. Um, inside of this is where the trees are gonna grow. And if you make it larger, the trees will, the, you'll have more trees as you can see, you can only fit like probably two trees in there. But um, they grow pretty quick and the whole process is fairly seamless and fast so this is decent for my needs, but if you wanted to make something huge, you might want to make it larger. Um, all right. Next, uh, I mean, there's so many different, like we could do a different, one second. All right, we need a lever. Okay, so you're gonna Levers want a hard. redstone, a redstone lever. And this is actually, this is probably gonna take a fair amount of redstone dust for circuitry and things, so you wanna make sure you got a decent amount of that. Okay, so there's the lever. This is gonna be the main, like, this is how you're gonna activate the device. Um, and then, here we go. This is where it gets a little complicated. I don't know if you guys have used uh, comparators and repeaters, but um, you do a repeater in each corner. Wait, I did it wrong. Compar three comparators in the middle, repeater in each corner. You need to leave room for the tree, so like right there, and right. Yeah, all right, I'll plant the trees. You're gonna need uh, saplings, so we're gonna use some oak saplings here. Okay, you, c you connect all of the um, repeaters together. And then they all end up connecting to the comparators. One second. Nope, oh, okay. All right. Okay, so now that you have all this stuff built, you need to, well, hang on, you didn't set these right. Okay, so you need these uh, comparators here. You need to switch these on. And then you want to set these, each of these repeaters, you want to set to one tick each. Like that. Okay. Otherwise so the timing's off. Yeah, exactly. So you want to make sure you have redstone going to the tree here. You need to, well, I, that one, okay, so right there that connects it. So you want to make sure the tree's connected to the redstone. That's that's a definite thing there. Okay. So now that you have that, you need to use, um, if you have any bone or bone meal, um, Okay, so you're gonna need, you're gonna need at least for each tree you're gonna need at least three bones and three bone meal. And what you're gonna want to do is um, so you want your bone meal. You need to dig right around here. You want to dig a pit and place your bone meal into there. So this is what's gonna make the tree grow rapid. Oh, you can't pick. Oh, okay, so that, that's the tricky thing is you can't pick it up. So you have to leave it in the pit there. 
Yeah, this was the part that we had the hardest. Okay, time so this is what. So if if you know about bone meal and trees, if you use bone meal on a on a sapling, it'll make the tree grow instantly. So that's what's going to make the trees go rapidly. Then over here, obviously this is a smaller scale version of you could build this way bigger, but you're also going to need water for the tree. So you're going to dig a pit there and fill that with water. Next thing you're going to want to do is Oh no, you already built the circuit. Okay, so you got your lever. So now you should be ready to flip the lever and watch I think it's this is, this is the first step here. So this is how you're going to automate growing the tree. So you get your, your bone meal there and your tree the sapling there. So this is how you're going to make trees automatically grow by themselves. So you're going to flip the lever. Oops. No, you uh, broke the lever. Uh, All right, I'm going to build the hopper okay. for Can where Can you the build the lever again? Oh, Can you build the wall again? I don't have any... Okay. Okay. Um, it's fine. There you go. Okay, so now you're gonna to want to flip the lever, and you should see a tree. Um, Here, before we do that, we need to get the hopper going. Okay. Because the tree, the trees are gonna. Oh, one second. The trees. What's gonna happen is after the trees grow, they're gonna get automatically chopped down, and then they will. Here's the hopper, and then. We'll go into a dispenser. All right, so that's right there is. One second. Okay. All right, I th that you go that goes into the hopper and then goes into the dispenser, and then or into the yeah into the dispenser. The dispenser is where you're going to like over here. You can put this anywhere, but we're gonna we're gonna route it over to this, the way we're setting it up. So this is where you're gonna pick up all your wood in here. All right, so something's not working here because the switch isn't switching on the redstone. Yeah, I, hang on. I think I you have this not. up too high. Well, you were the one that did the switch last time, I thought. Okay. There's here. no tree. Let like me, the tree's let me not growing at all. Yeah, did you put you, enough? That's, no, it's because you had the lever too low. It couldn't connect to the redstone circuit. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. See, there we go. Now we're cooking. So you have. Uh, it's connected with redstone. You're going to need to juice up the switch with more torches. So you're going to need redstone torches, two on each side of the switch, so it has plenty of power. And um, I'm putting two, I'm putting a couple more, but if you put, well, we got six. If you have more than eight per switch, it actually overloads the circuit, like the redstone. So don't do that. Yeah, they have not introduced capacitors in this game, so it's gonna you have to be careful of that. So now you have this redstone circuit is on. Uh, why is it not going past that? Did you, are the ticks wrong? Did you think, did you did you change it? No, I didn't adjust the tick uh, duration. Huh. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna have to. Okay. Okay. Here's what we need to do. Because it, it has to, you have to spit it out the, okay, so you go there, and then you connect redstone to there. So there you go. So now it, now that's, now it's cooking. Sorry, we had this set up wrong. Okay, so you have that there, and then you want to. All right, when they're all, when they're all lit up, you know it's right. There we go. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, so here's the tricky part. Here's what's really, really tricky. Are you watching? Okay, here's, here's what you're going to have to do. Because you're gonna have to interrupt the circuit and then rebuild it. So what you do, you're gonna have to do this very quickly. You want to destroy the circuit and then rebuild it. So bam, bam. Hang it on. Changes me, like the relay speed. Hey, let me try that again. Why is that not working right? The switch is on, right? That's not. Hang on. You want to break it and then re. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's not gonna. Okay. So now we need to destroy the switch. Now that the circuit's connected. Where'd you? Are you watching? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing like an aerial view. Okay, you're gonna have to destroy the switch. Then place a redstone torch. Right about you need you need a big open area. So right about here. And then you need to kill it right away. 
Why that was it, the timing wait, thing we were talking about earlier. Why is that not working right? You need... Why is it not powering the whole circuit? Okay, so you need two redstone torches, one on each side there. So now you have a complete circuit. So this is going in an infinite loop, and so this uh, redstone is going to travel clockwise. around the circuit. It's got to go clockwise. clockwise, yeah. It's got to be clockwise. And then, where'd the uh, where'd the bone meal go? Uh, it might have been utilized already. The tree is probably starting to grow. This is the other thing. It takes a little while, so we're probably not going to be able to show you it working. Here's the button, too. Like, I put this switch here. This is what takes, like, when you hit this, that dispenses the wood into the hopper, which then places it into the dispenser. So. So there you go. So that's that's pretty much the gist of it. I that's mean, it's like the general idea. I mean, I think it's working. It, I, I think you all real. get. I think I think you get what's happening here. I mean, it's not it's not very complicated. Um, it's a pretty simple setup. Obviously, we did this on a very small scale. You can do this and and have hundreds and hundreds of trees if you wanted to. And then it would all come out. All the wood will come out of this dispenser, and then you've got a basically unlimited wood supply. And then that way, like if you want to build, like for instance, over here. This, this entire thing we built from our, um, using our tree maker or tree dispenser. I, I mean, I, we, we probably should figure out a name for this because we kind of made it, like we invented it. Yeah, I haven't like seen a, another wood thing dispenser, like this. dispenser, tree maker. I called it tree maker here. But like that entire thing was made from a tree maker and we didn't really have to do anything. Like it's just all, it's fully automated as you can see. It's just like... It's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Uh, the other thing, if you want to, you can enclose this in. Like, you could build a roof on top of this. You just got to make sure that you have torches on the inside. Because the tree does need a little bit of light to grow. Yeah, I, I generally, when I'm doing, like, with my really complex tree makers, I do a glass roof. And then you got, like, a greenhouse effect. I believe that makes the trees grow quicker as well. Yeah, it gets a, the temperature inside a little bit warmer, so the trees can grow a little bit faster. Um... So yeah, so there you go. Uh, this has been uh, episode one of our Minecraft Pro Tips. I hope you learned something and uh, start making yourself some wood. Have fun. Thanks. Bye.